You know, I don't think anybody thought Carl Reiner was a purveyor of evil until he did an episode of Night Gallery where literally he was calling on demonic forces to aid him in a uh, lecture. Fictional, of course. Now, today we're talking about the Night Gallery uh, kind of short blackout called Professor Peabody's Last Lecture. Now, this is part of a uh, second season, and it uh, showed up as an extra of the DVD season one of uh, Night Gallery. Now, it's written by showrunner Jack Laird, who a lot of people believe was a Satanist, and directed by Gerald Friedman, Carl Reiner is Professor Peabody, and three of the supporting characters had names of noted horror uh, lovers. And writer Johnny Collins III played Mr. Lovecraft, uh -huh. Richard Annis as Mr. Block, Robert Block, of course, and Larry Watson as Mr. Derleth. Now, in this uh, play on the old uh, calling of the evil uh, trope, a college lecture begins with Professor Peabody dismissing long ago religious cults as being foolish and ridiculous. We get a slew of hard to pronounce names, according to David Jewell, Night Gary Blogspot, and General Mockery. One student reminds the professor that even speaking these names aloud is blasphemy, and ironically, this was the same style that he used in Young Frankenstein, where the person at the lecture was asking questions to Gene Wilder. Coincidence, I wonder, because Carl Reiner and Mel Brooks were friends. Hmm. Plagiarism, we don't know. Now, uh, as the plot goes on, the professor ignores the warning and proceeds his diatribe as storms begin outside and similar of the big surprise uh, episodic end. When he starts reading aloud from the Necro, uh, Necronomicon, uh, Necronomicon, thank you, the perhaps fictional occult book of natural incartations, another student issues a similar warning of terrible consequences. Undeterred, the professor goes through a long litany of citations and criticisms above the book. As his voice rises to crescendo pitch, <coughs> it's accompanied outside by a similarly gathering in fury storm. Very bad uh, with special effects for 1971 and the big uh, noise. This goes on much too long, although Reiner's energy level and commitment to his ever-increasing rage against these forces is impressive. After quite some time of hysteria, a lightning bolt quickly ends the professor's lecture, and he's turned to a bizarre, laughable-looking being, a sort of moss-covered, uh, uh, what do you call... Uh, evil force with tentacles and one visible red eye. We don't know why, but uh, with his classroom now in stunned silence, he asks, and now if there are any further questions. Now, uh, to many, this is one of the would-be coming vignettes, stretched to a little bit too long to 10 minutes, and it probably would have been served better had it been much shorter. Of course, the incantations drew the satanic element that Jack Laird was fascinated with. Reiner, though impressive in his role, he's always impressive, whether to appear or not, grows tiresome the longer his diatribe, according to Jewel, goes on, and the ending again a silly one due to budget and special effect limitations in the early 70s. Now, I found it quite interesting because I'm a big Carl Reiner fan, I always have been, and uh, three stars out of four, I have to give it this because if you're going out of your comfort zone, like I told before about the Academy when Pat Boone played the evil father, uh, sentencing to son to permanent cadetship in that, uh, what do you call, uh, training center. Uh, if you can go outside your comfort zone, and Carl Reiner was more, uh, no, most known for his comedy stylings, you know, uh, winning many major awards, major, major recognition, and of course he trained Rob Reiner to be the great director he is in, in Comic Force. Um, it is the extra on season one uh, shows up, and uh, like I said, probably the, one of the most consistent uh, episodes of season two uh, was this one where it appeared because I also had the diary with Patty Duke. Now that was out of her comfort zone uh, until she started doing Dan Curtis style horror in the mid, in the mid 1970s. We talk about that in the other podcast. Again, uh, Professor Peabody's last lecture. This was on request by our good buddy of the channel, John Walco. Thank you, John. And uh, don't forget, we may be doing all the Night Gallery podcasts. Uh, it's a lot, a lot of season three I haven't done. It's a slag because I really don't want to do any of the, the short uh, blackouts because most of them are like that. How can you review a two-minute kind of night gallery kind of stand-up? Pretty weird. So thanks for listening. Give us a like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget, requests are always accepted and always highly considered. Thanks for listening. Bye.